Welcome. Let's use the sketch organize solve method to solve RC circuits, LC circuits, and LR circuits, all of our differential equation circuits with a DC source. So in our sketch step, we want to start out by drawing our circuit. And then we want to use any parallel or series rules to simplify our circuit. Just in case this is possible. And then our last bit in our sketch is we want to draw our Kirchhoff loops and identify our Kirchhoff junctions so that we can understand what is going on with this. Now in our organized step, we want to see if we know anything about the circuit, either at the very beginning or the very end, right when the switch is just turned on, or all the way at the beginning. And these are called boundary conditions. for our circuit. So examples of this could be that we might ask, right, what the current at time t equals 0 is. And then we'd have some sort of answer. Or maybe the current at time t equals infinity. And we'd have some sort of answer for that. Could also be charged. Could also be the derivative of the current. Whatever we're given or whatever we can su suss out from the details is going to be very, very useful for us. And then we want to write the loop rule and solve for the highest derivative of whatever we're looking for. So of either charge or current, with a reminder that i is defined as the derivative dq dt. So in our videos and in a lot of other stuff, it will go through how we actually prove this. But since this is just a quick how to, we're just going to show you the results of it. So if the solution can be written as a first derivative, so by first derivative, I mean that the derivative of some function as a function of time. And then we have negative 1 over some constant tau. It doesn't actually be tau, but it has to be right something in front of our function as a function of time plus some constant k. Then we know that our solution is that f of t is equal to a, some maximum value, e to the negative t over tau, plus some constant b. b and k are very rarely going to be the same values, so make sure that they are not the same. If our solution, or if our problem can be written as, A second derivative, what we are saying is that we have to take two orders of derivatives of f of t, and that's a dt squared, and that is then equal to negative omega squared times the original function. Then our solution is sinusoidal, or very often we use cosinusoidal, so a cosine of omega t plus phi. Notice that we have, right, this omega goes to this omega, this tau goes to this tau. So once we have these solutions, we want to, right, actually check the solutions in our solve step. So we want to plug in 
our solutions to our loop rule problem. to check if it is correct. How do we check if it's correct? We should get a a real solution to tau or omega if it's the correct solution. So from this, now we know either tau or omega. And then we want to plug our solution into our boundary conditions. And so we will plug in, right, if we found a current, then we write plug in t for 0 for this one. and we set it equal to whatever this is equal to, or t infinity for this one. And this will solve for our constants a, b, and the phase angle phi, right? Our two constant a and b here, our two constants a and the phase angle phi here. And then we can use this result to continue solving the problem. So at this point, it might be interesting to then draw, do more of our sketch step back here, what these functions will look like with a fully labeled system now that we've solved it. <laughs> 